guys, it's me, Colleen Ballinger, and recently I made a video testing weird kitchen gadgets that I found on Amazon. You guys really liked it, and you've asked me to do it again. So here we are. Thank you to the two people who have requested that I do it once more. The first time I did this video, I had so much fun because during quarantine, one of my biggest hobbies is cooking. I literally cook all day long. I love it. So to be able to find kitchen gadgets that I could use on the daily was really fun and exciting, and I really wanted to do it again, so here we are. Let's start off with the pineapple core slicer thing. So I saw this online and I'm feeling skeptical about this mother trucker, but let's try it. I mean, I always have the hardest time in the world cutting pineapple. I love pineapple. I love cooking with pineapple. I love eating pineapple. I think pineapple is delicious, but I think it is a pain in the butt to cut. You get all sticky and it takes forever and it's just, it's not an enjoyable experience. So if this thing works, I will be a happy lady. All right, let's try this bad boy, pineapple core slicer. So I bought a pineapple today, hopefully it's ripe enough. Okay, here's our pineapple. Okay, so I put this on this. If you hear my son running around, he's having a blast. These are happy noises. When my son goes, no, that means he's excited and happy. Here we go, chop off the top. So now I'm gonna take this and put it on the center. Okay, so far so good. It feels like it's in there. And then I just twist it. This can't be, this thing, there's no way this is gonna work. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. There's no way that this is going to work. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Squirted pineapple juice right in my eyeball. Okay, so I just twist it. Oh my God, this is like definitely not twisting. Oh wait, if you twist the whole thing? Oh, 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 okay, now I understand. Now I understand science. Oh, oh, this is easy. Oh my God, if this works, I'm gonna lose my mind because I hate cutting pineapple. This is so exciting. Wait, I'm shook if this thing works. No way. Okay, here's the moment. This is the moment. Oh. My, oh my God. Wait, hold on, look. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it works, okay, wait, this is crazy. Okay, so now, how do I get this thing off? I think I have to go like this. And look, <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. This might be the coolest kitchen gadget I've ever found. Oh my God. And look, it's like a ring. It's like a slinky of pineapple. You guys, this has literally changed my life. I never buy fresh pineapples because they're impossible to cut. This is the best. <laughs> That's what he calls Uncle Cory. Kaka? This is incredible. Flynn, do you want to try some pineapple? Come here, you want to have a bite? What do you think? <laughs> They're so delicious. Alrighty, this one's a winner winner chicken dinner. Holy smokes! This might be one of the best products I have ever bought for my kitchen. I love this. This is a 10 out of 10. What should we rate it with? I'm looking at my crusty eyed Persian cat right now. So I give this 10 out of 10 crusty eyed Persian cats. This is incredible, highly recommend, worth every penny if you like pineapple. If you don't like pineapple, then it's a total waste of money because you'll never use it. But for a pineapple lover, this is incredible. Please get this and put it in your kitchen. It is life changing. This is only $15. Oh, I would literally pay $50 for this. Moving on. The next gadget is Angry Mama. So as you can see, she's no longer in her box. I have already tried all these products as I'm talking to you about them. But my feelings on this were excitement about this product because my microwave is dirty and no one likes cleaning microwave. Like you. No one wants to clean it. No one wants to be near a dirty microwave. They're disgusting. So the fact that there was like a cute device that looks like this, kind of looks like a little Lego person. The fact that there was a cute device that could clean my microwave was so exciting exciting to me, so I tried it out. Let's take a look. Alrighty, here's the next one, Angry Mama. Mama, 
This is about you, angry mama. Just kidding, my mom is never angry. Here we go, angry mama. All right, let's check it out. So apparently this is gonna clean my microwave, which it has literally never been cleaned in four years, so disgusting. Here's what it looks like. It's a little angry mama. You take off the hair, then remove angry mama's head. Okay, relax. Taking off angry mama's head. Ah, on the back of angry mama, there's lines that tell you how high to fill it with vinegar and then with water, and it also says to Put some lemon juice in there for a nice scent. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we stick it in the microwave for seven minutes. Let's see if it works. All right, let's check out my microwave. This is what it looks like currently. There's spots on the side splatters. And it's not that bad, but it's definitely not clean. We're gonna put her in here. Close the door. Seven minutes. Do your thing, girl, do your thing. Okay, uh, it is done, so we're about to reveal what's inside. I will say, my house reeks. The smell of burning, boiling vinegar water throughout the house, it is foul. Like, if there's another thing you could put into this to clean it, that'd be better, but let's see what it looks like. Woo! <laughs> the smell just smacked me in the face. That was so aggressive. Oh. Okay, so it looks exactly the same. I don't know if you're supposed to like wipe it down. Literally all the spots are still there. What did it do? I'm confused. Do you want paper towel? Yeah, I guess. What, what is this? I'm assuming you have to like wipe it, but then why wouldn't you just like wipe it? With like spray cleaner. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sure, what? Like it's, it, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Okay, you guys, this is the dumbest thing in the world because not only did it not work, but now my house freaking reeks. And if it is a type of product where you use it and then you're supposed to wipe it down yourself, why not just use any old cleaner? And then it will smell good because most cleaners have like a lemony pine scent. This is horrible. I'm angry that I use this because now my house freaking stinks and it didn't work. My microwave is still dirty and my house reeks. That is a bust. This is the worst thing in the world. So I give this product, I would say, two out of 10 uh, crusty eyed cats. I'm sure I used it wrong actually, so I shouldn't say it's the worst thing in the world. I don't want people to come for me. Yeah, I mean, it does say add vinegar and water, microwave, and then wipe clean. But when I tried to wipe it clean, it didn't really come up. Like nothing really wiped up. And I feel like, what's the difference between using this and just like, using any kind of cleaner and wiping it, you know? So it just added an extra layer of work and also an extra layer of stinkiness in my house. So I was not a fan of this, but maybe some of you disagree, you've tried it and you like it, let me know in the comments below, but I personally was not a big fan of this product. The tomato slicer. This has a cat hair on it. This came to me in the mail literally just like this, but in like a plastic baggie. There was no instructions, there was no paperwork, there was no nothing. This is how it came. This is exactly how it came. I didn't know how I felt about this. I've never had issues cutting up a tomato. Like that was never like a problem. I've been like, oh, this is so difficult. I've always just been like, oh, I need a sliced tomato and then I slice it. But apparently this makes really thin, really perfect slices of tomato. So I tried it out. Let's take a look. Let's try the tomato cutter. All right, I'm gonna let you guys have a close up of this one. All right, so here's our tomato. Let's go like this. Let's try it. Oh, the noise, oh, the noise. Oh, I don't know if I can do this, you guys. I don't think I can listen to the sound. This is, <gasps> my mom is literally leaving the room. The sound is that bad. Like, it's not, it's not pleasant. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I can make it not do that sound again. Oh, it's already making my teeth hurt. My teeth hurt. <laughs> My mom's literally leaving. Hold on, I'm so good to get this started. Oh my god. Ah! It's like nails on a chalkboard. Wow, that's horrid, that is horrid. I feel like if you have earplugs, this is a good product. Well also, it didn't work. Like it didn't cut it all the way through. I mean, I guess it works. It's like a tomato book on page one. So here's the deal. This one works 
but it is the most horrendous sound I've ever heard in my life and literally made my mother leave. Like if you have really strong noise canceling headphones or earplugs, then like maybe this is the thing for you. But that's literally worse than the sound of nails on a chalkboard. Like that is a horrendous noise. I actually don't like this and I don't find it annoying or hard to cut tomatoes. Like I think tomatoes are pretty easy to cut. So I don't really understand the need for this product. It worked, but so does is just like cutting your tomato without something that makes the worst sound you've ever heard in your life. So, it does technically work. However, the sound that it makes is not worth any perfect slice that could ever come from this product. The sound of the metal scraping against this metal was so ear piercing. I don't even know if you can tell through the camera microphone how horrible it was, but it was really painful and cringy. So I will not be using this product again. Um, I will just slice tomatoes. I give her four out of 10 crusty eyed kitty cats. Okay, moving on. So this next product is currently in my fridge, so I can't show it to you, but it is the Chef and Fridge Fork Condiment Fork. So essentially it's this fork thing that you put on your canned goods that go in the fridge so that you don't have to keep getting out a fork and dirtying it or you don't have to stick your fingers in like pickle juice or olive juice, stuff like that. So I tried it out. Okay, I have a jar of pickles and I'm gonna try out this fridge fork. I don't know, I guess I have always just kind of stuck my fingers in the pickle juice to get out a pickle. But you're not supposed to do that. What's this for? What's this? I don't know, there's no instructions. What? What's this? Is this just for, this must be for smaller jars? Okay, so I'm obviously gonna use a big one because I've got this big pickle jar. So let's put it on. So now apparently you just put it in the fridge like this and whenever you want to get a pickle, you just pull out the little pickle fork and get it. And this is like the designated fork for this. I'm gonna take off the little spike protectors. Hello? Ow! Here you go. Pickle jabber, jab pickle. I don't understand why you wouldn't just use a fork. Like who, are you really that lazy? You can't just go get a fork? Mm, I do love pickles though. I guess it's convenient, but it's not like so convenient that I think it's worth it. I don't know, just use your fingers. So this product was fine. I feel like if you go in for pickles or olives every single day in the fridge, maybe it's a great product for you. But for me, it's kind of rare that I go for a pickle, uh, even though I love them. And so I would just use my fingers or a fork, especially since I'm the only one in the house who eats pickles, so I don't mind getting my fingies in there. If I was pregnant, I think I would use this a lot because I did eat pickles every single day when I was pregnant pretty much. So maybe I'll keep it in case somehow, some way, a miracle happens and I get pregnant again. That's not the plan, but if it does, at least I'll have a pickle fork. So this pickle poker pricker, I would give mm, five out of 10. Next we have this sassy lady. This um, is a kitchen product that came up when I typed in weird kitchen gadgets on Amazon. It's basically just a scrubbing brush for your kitchen. So uh, let's go try it out. Okay, another sassy woman. The Mama Sita microwave lady let me down. So hopefully Miss Karen doesn't do me dirty here. She literally is a Karen haircut. I know, she is so Karen. So basically, I mean, this is not really like a fancy kitchen gadget. This is literally just a brush that looks silly, I think. All right, so she comes in a little stand. This is a peculiar shape. <laughs> Karen! All right, so I guess, I mean, I can show you what it's like to clean with it, I guess. Do I need to? Because it's not that exciting. It's literally just this, so here we go. I'll clean the inside of the sink. I mean, it works. The concept of it is pretty gross. Like, to wash things with her hair, like that, the concept of that is nasty. I mean, I guess women wash Jesus' feet with their hair, so maybe she's like, I wanna be like the women of the Bible. Maybe she's a Christian woman, this Karen. But you know is who, she? <laughs> you know who owns that? Who? Carol Baskin. Yes! Oh, it's Carol Baskin! It's Karen Baskin. Karen Baskin. So this is fun, it's cute, it's nothing right home about, but I do like that it's just something silly and fun for in your kitchen, so I actually like this, and I feel like it works fine, so I would give this like a seven out of 10 crusty-eyed pussycats, cause like she's a sassy lady, and it's fun to look at in your kitchen, so why not? 
Okay, now we have the Snap and Strain. This product came up a lot when I searched kitchen gadgets online. So I caved and I got it and I was kind of excited to use it, but I've, I've never really had an issue with just using a strainer. I guess it's one extra dish that you have to wash, but this is also something else you have to wash. So I don't really understand why you wouldn't just like use a strainer and then put it back in your pot. But anyway, let's try it out. Okay, I'm gonna try this bad boy. We are making dinner and so it's time to try it. So I guess you clip these little clippies. I don't know if this is gonna work on this cut because of my type of pot that I have. This doesn't work. <laughs> I don't have the right kind of pot. So we're gonna have to try. try them on a different pot. Doesn't work on that, so never mind. This is the pot's too thick or whatever. Look at that, that worked. Yeah, that works great. <laughs> Why would you not just do that? <laughs> it's much later, we finished dinner, and now I'm going to try the strainer with just some water and a pot that I think the clippers will work on. I'm just gonna put some blueberries in, so it's essentially just gonna be washing my blueberries for me. So I've got some blueberries, I'm gonna put them in the pot. So I've got water and blueberries in here. Here is the clippy strainer thing. Wait, it still doesn't, what kind of pot does this even work on? This is, I don't know. <laughs> So now, that. These are really hard to get off. That's like, if this was a boiling hot pot, you basically have to find a pot that doesn't have any sort of a lip, which is hard to find. I don't even think I have one, but now my blueberry's in there without water. I don't know why you wouldn't just use a strainer. This thing to me doesn't seem helpful, but Eric did make a good point. Like if you make something that has grease in it, like if you're making like ground beef or something and you have to drain the grease, maybe this thing would be helpful. But when it's just draining out water, I feel like this thing is kind of not great. So that's how I feel about that. I would give this four out of 10 crusty eyed kitty cats because it might work great for grease and whatnot, but for pastas, I thought it was kind of waste. Yeah, I basically think this is not great. I will never use it again. It doesn't fit on any of my pots. And even if it did, it feels like it takes way more effort and time to like try to snap the snaps on than to just get a strainer and dump the stuff into the strainer. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm not really sure why this exists or like why you would want to use this. Just strain your stuff in a strainer, you know what I mean? I don't know. Sa, sa, sa. This is another product that literally came like this in a plastic bag. Yes, it is dirty because I've already used it. I bet you don't know what this is from looking at it. This looks like a bell. It's not a bell. It is an uncrustable maker. That's right. If you like uncrustables, this might be the product for you. This came up as um, a highly requested product. It does say it's from the Pampered Chef, which I have items from Pampered Chef in my kitchen that I adore, I love so much. So very high hopes for this bad boy. Let's try it out. I'm so excited. Let's try her out. I do feel like this is gonna waste a lot of the sandwich, but let's try it. Ooh, that's a horrible sound it just made. There were no instructions with this thing. It literally just came like this. So I think it does work, but then how do you get the rest of the sandwich off? Okay, fail. I think you have to peel the sandwich off around it or something. What? This is trash. Look how much the sandwich got wasted. There we go. An uncrustable. <laughs> It might work better with different bread. This is like, we call it sticks and seed bread at our house. It's like really healthy bread. So maybe with like the trashy, like really delicious, like Wonder Bread type of bread, it would work better. It tastes like peanut butter and jelly, but look how much of the sandwich got wasted. I feel like this is very wasteful. I don't know about this one, guys. This to me is a bust. It, did it make it an uncrustable? Kind of but mostly just wasted a lot of the sandwich. I think this is a bust. Like, I don't really see the point of this. Like, just cut off the crust, you know what I mean? So I would give this guy three out of 10 crusty-eyed kitties. Sorry. Alrighty, we have the simple spreading knife. It's not in here because it's currently in my dishwasher because I used it, but this supposedly helps you cut butter with ease so that it's not so difficult to like spread cold butter onto your bread. It's easily spreadable and it makes it like cute and pretty. And like, look how pretty that butter slices. Like, look at that ring of butter. Like, it's beautiful. So let's try this out. We make bread in our house from scratch every day. So if this thing works, I will be stoked. It says, the perfect gift for fresh bread lovers. That's me, the family's best friend during breakfast. Curl your butter with ease. 
straight from the fridge. No more bread tearing. So I don't know what all the gadgets are on it or how I'm supposed to know. Like this side is like very sharp ridged and this has a bunch of holes and there's a whole, I don't know what all the things are for. All right, let's get some butter. I'm gonna use the vegan butter because this is a butter that we don't use very often in our house. This is cold, it's cold butter. Wait, what do you do? There's no instructions on this thing. What? 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 What's happening? Okay, so you could go like, ah! How does this work? This thing does not work. What is this? This doesn't work. This isn't a thing. No one uses this. Okay, we looked up how to use this and it still doesn't make any sense. So there's three different ways you can use this and all three it looks like you pull it towards you. All right, so the first one is this hole. So I have to like touch the butter, that's gross. But I guess if you make little things like this, it's easier to spread on your butter. I don't know, goodbye. This seems dangerous. What? It's just, ugh. Why not just use a freaking knife? What is this? How do you do? Ah! I hate this. I'm sure someone out there will scold me that I'm using it wrong, but I literally just watched a tutorial on it and it doesn't work. Maybe I just don't have the magic touch for this, but I think this is total garbage trash and does not work. Maybe someone will disagree and that's okay. You're allowed to believe whatever you want to believe, but this is my opinion. What a bust, what a bust. It didn't work at all, hey, what a bust. This was so lame, it didn't work. Kind of a bummer. I do make bread every single day, so this was really exciting. The idea that this could possibly work was very exciting to me. I just couldn't get it to work. Maybe I'm using it completely wrong, so please let me know how to use this. I did watch tutorials on YouTube on how to use it, and it still did not work for me. The only one I could get to work was like the little thin shreds of butter, but why would you not just use a cheese grater then if that's the kind of butter shreds you want, you know what I mean? I would give this one out of 10 crusty eye kitties. There you go, that's all the products I'm gonna do today. So basically the last time I did this video, it was way more successful. I found a lot of products that I loved and use still like almost every single day. This time they were basically all a bust except for that pineapple slicer core. And honestly, I don't even care that all the items were a bust because of that one product. That's how much I love that pineapple core slicer. Uh, it was so good that like, I don't even care that all the other ones didn't work because it was it was that amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your favorite product in the comments below. Also tell me if I was using any of them wrong, because maybe I was, I don't know. And let me know if there's any uh, type of weird thing on Amazon you want me to check out next. Obviously, I have bought wedding dresses on Amazon. I have bought prom dresses on Amazon. I've bought weird kitchen gadgets, weird kid clothes and toys, weird cat products. Um, I've kind of gotten everything I could on Amazon, so maybe it's time to go to a new website, but let me know what kind of thing you want me to test next. I really love doing the wedding dresses and prom dresses. So if you can think of another genre like that, let me know because you guys are smarter than me and I would love your advice. So um, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you next time. Don't forget I'm vlogging every single day on my uh, vlog channel. So if you want to see my daily life, which is pretty boring, it's just me making bread, uh, go subscribe there. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.